clocks will have let's say two clocks c1 and c2 and they are going to some flops okay and and then uh, what you're saying receive side also is getting uh, clock from the same mux is it yes uh, c1 both uh... But uh, without maxing, prior to uh, maxing, it receives clock uh, from directly from C1, for okay. example. Okay. It's getting this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Something like this. So yeah. yeah, so what usually it is, uh, is done is, uh, let's say uh, you will create, I, and for create clock, I will just say CC, you will create a clock here and create a clock here in your constraint file. And FPA tools are smart enough, they will, uh, they will propagate as in it will propagate both the clocks here. So you will, as in when a slack calculation is being done, it will see both C1 and C2 here, and it will only see C2 here. So the kind of paths which will exist, let's say this is F1, and let's say this is F2. So the kind of paths will, which will exist is C1 clock, F1 to F2, and which is on C2 clock, and C2, F1, F2, and ending in C2. So these two paths will exist in the design and ST will time both of these paths, okay? Now, uh, there is no extra benefit you will get by creating additional clock here because it's on the MUX output, I mean, because STA will itself propagate both the clocks, okay? So there is no extra benefit you are getting by creating clocks here. Does it make sense? But uh, physically, uh, the max will have some delay, uh, yeah. and uh, will and uh, F one will uh, experience this delay, while F two will not. So, uh, wouldn't it uh, change the uh, affect the slack? Yeah, it will change the slack. So, for example, let's say okay, let me try to a little bit make space for my show here. Okay. Let's say, uh, so basically that is what uh, the clock skew is also accounted for when you are doing slack. For example, let's say uh, your ideal clock is like this, okay? Let's say we are talking C2 to C2, for example, for now. So delay, your ideal clock is this C2, but let's say it reaches F1, it is slightly delayed, okay? So there is here. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, let's say when it reaches F2, it is, so since F2 will be capturing in the next cycle, it is basically, let's say it's almost close to zero delay. Mm -hmm. So it reaches at this time. <coughs> now what will happen, what happened because of this is your normal time was, allowed time was one cycle, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah. now because of this, it will be a little bit less than one cycle. Because of this, so yeah, so that is taken into account by STA tool. The different uh, different paths can have different delays, and accordingly, clock uh, clock arrival time or clock time is adjusted. And as per that, uh, 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 it's calculated. It is also covered in one of the lectures. I'm not sure you have reached that stage. Uh, basically. So initial uh, chapters talks about slack calculation without worrying about clock path. Mm -hmm. But in, in one of the later videos, uh, let me check which day it is, whether it's today or some other day, it will talk about when the clock start becoming propagated and the clock delays come into the picture, how, it is, how the slack calculation is modified. So it's definitely going to impact your slack calculation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. So sometimes uh, since, this can be... Since... If you think right, as in this can just one more point I want that this can be sometimes taken as an advantage as well. Okay, for example, let's say uh, this is let's say this path is very difficult to make time. Okay, this path has very less delay. Okay, let's say difficult to make time. But if you can add additional delay on the clock path, 
then it may slightly become easier to meet this timing because let's say your ideal clock was this, but you now you delayed it rather mm -hmm. than here, it let's say is here, then you yourself have given some extra time to meet setup. So it, uh -huh. it is, this is how it can be used as an advantage as well. Uh, this is what uh, PNR tools and SPA tools try to do when there are some products which are difficult to meet. I mean, some kind of clock skew balancing to meet setup timing. So it's not always a problem. It's you can use it for your advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, since I'm from uh, FPGA world, uh, I'm used to thinking that uh, gated clocks are dangerous things. So uh, I was confused. So thank you um, for uh, clearing. So even in FPGA, uh, okay, so F FPGA, the thing is there is like in terms of sometimes the routing, as in the, there are only so much you can do. So they have to kind of put some restriction in place. But yeah, as a, in, in normal ASIC world, this will be like a normal thing which will happen. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. Okay, how do I unshare? So, because uh, others have joined, so you can uh, ask if they have any doubts. Yeah.